Happy Tuesday, guys. I am having the best day because we are having the most fantastic weather on the planet today. I went to run an errand and I walked out there with my jacket on, I was freezing. And then I walk outside and I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait a second. It's warm, who needs this jacket? And here I am, my long sleeve shirt. And uh, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day out. Am I loving it? I was getting so sick of that snow. And then I looked at my weather app today and saw that snow is coming next week, three days in a row. I was like, I am gonna bask in this weather and sun and enjoy every second All of right, it. All right guys, we are in the sunroom and I don't believe I have shared my French country hutch with you. So let's do that today. Again, I'm winging it. I didn't plan my videos out well this week at all because we've been so busy, but uh, now I'll have something to share. And I'm just gonna use my arm instead of my tripod because it's downstairs and I'm lazy. I don't wanna go get it. So let's try to do this. Let's go up here. This kind of has a Tuscan French country look and feel if you will. Let me get my chair so I can get up on it and show you All what right, I've done. All right, let's go over what I've done. Uh, right there, you can see I've got a Tuscan pot. And what I added to it were these little wispy branches that I got from Hobby Lobby, as well as these pretty yellow, wild looking flowers, also from Hobby Lobby. Then I, over here, I've got this big plate. I got that at Wegmans years ago. It's actually, a plastic plate. I don't know what they call it, but it's not like a porcelain plate. Who's gonna know? Who's gonna know? I love it though. I love it. It doesn't look like it. When you get up close, it literally looks like a legit like porcelain plate. But anyway, uh, so I added that on a plate stand. Then I added some little ferns. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. I always get them 50% off. Cheap, cheap, cheap. I sat one there and then one there and then I placed a little rooster also from Hobby Lobby years ago on a cake stand to add height and then I added this little herb sign and I think it's just darling. I think it's super cute. I do. I think it's cute. So let's go down to the bottom of this hutch and see what I've done. By the way, guys, one of my lovely subscribers found these on Amazon. Uh, so I've got those linked in my Amazon store if you like them. So, all right, guys, I kept the inside of this little French country hutch super, super simple. So let's take all a right, peek. Let's open this little hutch up. You can see I've hung a cute little tassel right there. And let's start up top. Right here, center stage, I've got a cute little pot with some greenery in it and behind it you can see one of the plates that I have up here but it's a different one and so I just put that behind just to add that little pop of color and then last year I went to a cute little antique store and they were discounting those like 75% off after Christmas and I just thought they were adorable I'm like why does it have to be just for Christmas I'm gonna use it for my everyday. So these basically sit in this hutch year round. And I think they're adorable. Moving down on the second shelf, I've got a little pot of ivy. And behind it, I've got a grapevine wreath, just to add a little pop of texture behind it. Two more of those little plates to add that pop of color. You can see I've got one in the center and then two down here. And I've got a cute little cow, got that at Ross. And then at Wegmans grocery store, they had these cute little, I don't know, forks for like hors d'oeuvres and stuff. Let me see if I can pull one out. And I just thought that that would be cute to set inside the little cow. 
So I think it's really cute. And then of course, I have a lemon um, in kind of going with my lemon theme over here. So I think that's really cute. And then lastly, on the bottom shelf, I have two more of those plates, one on either side. This one was a Pier 1 Imports plate, and I just, even though it doesn't match, it's all kind of the same color scheme, so I decided to place it there. And then I've got this little pot with one of these little berry, I don't know, you can hang these, I don't know what they're used for, but I just put that in there for a little splash of yellow. And I've got a little chicken, and then right here, I have a little container that says basil. And I think that's really cute. So really that's all there is to it for my little hutch. But I think it looks really cute and I'm loving the yellow. It's just, it's happy, it's cheery, it's, it's fun. I love it. And then you can see my hutch down there. And that's it guys. That's all I have to show you in regards to this little hutch. So I, I really am loving all the yellow. So I've got the little yellow pillows like I showed you yesterday. And then let's walk over here. Over here in the big comfy chairs, I've got the yellow fluffy pillows, which I love. And then over here is the hutch that I shared with you, my Tuscan French country hutch. And I just love this hutch, love it. It's probably my favorite piece in the house right now. And I just, let's put the light on if we can. And let's open this side. I know I've already showed this to you, but I just want to show you all the yellows, how they all go so nicely together. And then let's go over here on this side. My other chair with a yellow pillow. And then I already showed you this yesterday, but then over on this wall, I've got more yellow. This is new, I forgot to show you guys that. I got that at Hobby Lobby, 50% off, and it says kindness served here, and I thought that looked really cute there. And then when we sit at our table at night, I always have the salt and pepper there, so it's easy and accessible, and so we can salt our food and make it spicy and flavorful. And I've got my little yellow flowers there. course that. Cute, cute, cute. I have still yet to decorate my lantern there and my lantern there. So, I'm a little slow lately. Um, so maybe we'll work on that later this week and do something super cute. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, and then over here, I have Spring, my friend I showed shared with you. She's sitting here with her cute little springy apron on. And uh, again, loving the yellow, except I need to iron her. Still haven't done that, haven't done it. And I've got this cute little watering can right here. And I'm not done with my tray. So I've got the little watering can there. Probably need to add some bunnies and something cute and festive for spring. I don't know. I don't know. I need to get inspired. I need to go watch some YouTube videos. That will inspire me. Let's do that. Remember yeah. I showed you this a while back and I had just the bunny and the greenery. Let's see, where, where was my finger, right? I had the bunny and then I had the greenery, but I didn't have anything to go right there. I decided to put the carrots. One of you lovely subscribers recommended putting carrots up there by the bunny. 
So that's what I did and I think it looks super cute. Here I have a little, uh, I don't know, grass or floral arrangement that I got from, let's see, Fun Goods. That, that's where I got it. And then I just put the little bunny right there, set the carrots next to it. I don't think that's gonna stay like that. It won't. I just put it there. All my kids love it. They think it's so cute. But I really want to put it on a tray, the bunnies on a tray and do something cute with it. But so that'll be probably another time. And then down there I put my little arrangement that I made and the bunny next to it with a sign that says home sweet farmhouse. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me today. Sorry it was a very short video, but I hadn't planned on doing one and I thought it's better to get something out than nothing out. So there you go. Anyway, have a great evening and I'll see y'all in the next one. Mwah. Where are we going today? Where are you gonna drive us? Where are we going? <laughs>